looks like we're recording. So let's start in Sukhasana. Rest your hands on your knees. Roll your shoulders back. Oh, you can see my head. There we go. Lengthen your spine. Chest is lifted. And let's breathe in here and hold it up top. Bring your hands behind you as you exhale and drop your chin. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come down and behind you. Drop your chin. chin. Place your hands behind you. See if you can flatten your hands. Tuck in your abdominals. Rounding down just a little bit. Trying to keep your hands right there behind you. And back up to neutral spine. Go ahead and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Stretch out that right side of your neck. You're welcome to close your eyes. And head comes to center. Go ahead and drop your right ear to right shoulder. Is that music too loud or is it okay? Okay. Some of the songs are louder than others. Okay. You're welcome to close your eyes. Holding here. Back to center. Let's take our left hand forward. Right hand comes down and just gently pull those fingertips towards the ground. Just a gentle stretch for your tendons. And release, taking your right hand out. Hand comes over left hand and just gently pull those fingertips down. Release, take your hands together and let's just move our wrists. We're going to do a lot of wrist work today. Both directions. Change the cross of your feet. Hands come together, push out and up. Shoulders drop down away from your ears. And gently, nice and slow, not too far over. Keep the control in your waist and your uh, right side. You're holding it here, nice and strong. Back to center, over to your right, hold it. Nice control, looks good. Back to center. Let's go ahead and take our right hand across to our left knee, reaching behind us for a seated spine twist.
the center. Let's cross our left hand over to our right knee, reaching behind, other side, spine twist. This should feel good. If you feel any pinching, take the twist a little, uh, a smaller twist. Not so far back. to center. Crossing your arms over, grabbing your uh, shoulders for a hug, stretching out your shoulders. Duke's in the corner of the mat, sort of like he's put himself in timeout, <laughs> looking the other way. And uncross, now take the opposite arm on top. Take your right leg out, turn towards that left knee. Right leg comes uh, straight out into um, pigeon. And you either stay up here or sink down to the mat. Keeping your hips square with the mat. So Kiara, you're gonna want this leg that's out, you want it to roll over so your knee is touching the mat. So you're here, Kiara, roll here. There you go, that's a little better. So you want your knee flat on the mat. And you can stay here, or you might come down a little further on your forearms if you'd like. You could rest your head down. Keeping your hips square at all times over the mat. Pushing yourself back up, shoulders come down, looking up. Neutral spine, option to reach back here. If you can't grab your foot, you can just reach your arm back. It's a very deep pose, so I don't, I don't recommend too many of you doing this. Kiara, Carlos can do it. Yeah. And release. Turn that um, leg forward, and we're going to exchange legs. So now our right foot comes in, turning towards that right knee. Back leg rolls over so that now my knee is directly over the mat. We're doing the other side, Kiki. There you go, roll that leg, there you go, roll it, roll it. And then you can stay here, hovering over the mat, or come down a little further, whatever feels good for your body.
down, looking up. Option to reach behind. You can reach without grabbing your foot. Or you can grab your foot. You really want to keep that hip square over the mat. Jake's foot. Hi, Jake. Hi. Good morning. Go ahead and release. Roll that back leg. Bring both feet in together and shake it up. While we're seated, let's go ahead and raise our hips off. Let's raise our hips up uh, for a non-bent knee bridge. So it looks like this. We're gonna hold for a few seconds, so just get comfortable. Squeeze your booty, squeeze your abdominals for 10, 9, 8, 7, keep lifting, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lower your hips down. Head is the last thing to come up. Good job. Uh, shake it out because I'm going to do a tiny bit more with triceps. Okay, knees are bent. Okay, option to do this with booty up looks like this. You bend your elbows back. Other option, keep your booty down and bend and up. Bend and up. I think that way we'll probably get more action in your arms. Uh, when we've done this historically, they go like this <laughs> rather than the tricep. So why don't we, I, I trust Carlos to do it correctly. So we're bending and up, bend, up. Let's do five more and four and three two, and one. Come down to your elbows. You're going to uh, raise a knee up and we're going to just tap our heels right here. Nice and easy. Squeeze your abdominals. Tap, tap, tap. Good job. Keep breathing. We're working those lower, the deep lower abdominals here. Good. Keep squeezing. Now we're going to push one leg out and then the other. See if you can lift through your chest here, here, and the other. We're going to do 10, 9, 8, getting hot, 7, 6, 5, just four more, three, two, last one, roll down, bring your knees into your chest, roll side to side, stretch it out. And just let your knees roll in, just opening the vertebrae a little bit here. Feet come down, cross right knee over your left and fold over to your left side. Reclined twist. Try keeping both shoulder blades on the mat and arms are out wide. Will be a, a better twist for you. You're also getting a nice stretch on that top booty. Center. 
and cross, cross left over right and fold, let your body fold over to your right. Shoulder blades stay on the mat. Reclined spine twists. There's a few ways to do it. This one's really nice because it gets your booty stretching as well. center. Okay, before we do inner thigh, go ahead and bring yourself back to bridge, except this time shoulder blades are down. Squeeze your abdominals and booty really high, holding here. A little higher. Squeeze. Squeeze for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down. Bring your knees in again. Rock side to side. Legs come up. So this is a recline staff pose. Holding here for a few moments, flex your feet. Legs come out to the side. If you need support, you can hold right behind your knees here. Elbows down, holding your legs there. If this feels okay, you can release your hands. Try pushing your lower spine into the mat. Breathe here, keep pushing the lower spine into the mat. Point your toes, bring your legs together. And let's just do a little scissors right here. Squeeze your abdominals. Squeeze your lower spine to the mat. One thing that helps get your lower spine down, if your legs are here, your, your spine will naturally arch, but if you come towards your chest, that's gonna help you push your lower spine into the mat. So come a little forward with your scissor towards your chest. And legs come back out to the side if you need the support. Put your hands under your knee. Push your lower spine into the mat. Couple seconds here. And legs come in. They should be feeling a little heavier. Little scissors towards your chest so your lower spine is pushed into the mat. Grab a hold behind your knees and rock up into a seated position. We're gonna do a little happy baby and then we'll hold our um, boat pose at the end, okay? So, uh, you can grab behind your, behind your thighs or your feet, whichever one you like best. I'll show behind thighs where you round your spine down and up to a seated position, hold, feet are off the mat. Rounded spine, rock down, and up, and hold. Try to straighten your back as you come up and um, you are balancing on your sit bones here. Rounded spine, straight spine, hold. Feet are off the mat. Okay, last one, round it down, up. Straight spine, hold it here. See if you can straighten one foot at a time. Maybe you let go of your legs and round it down, hug it in. Good job, that's a hard one. And let's roll up 
to neutral spine table. Get my sweater off so you can see. Get my shirt. Neutral spine table. Let's just go through a couple breaths of cat cow. So breathe in. Exhale through cat, Marjariyasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And neutral spine. Go ahead and come onto your forearms, tucking your toes. Knees come up for dolphin. Walk your toes in a little bit further, pushing your head through your shoulder blades. Your heels are reaching towards the ground. They may not touch, that's okay. Pushing your head through those shoulder blades so you can really feel the energy and um, strength in your shoulder blades, your vestibular. Now shift your weight and your head comes back towards your hands. So now your head is over your hands and you're just going to tap your knees down and up, down and up, we're just gonna do five, ready? Tap, that's five, tap, that's four, tap, three more, tap, last two, tap, and one more. And knees come down, go ahead and take a child's pose. 